Well, I reckon it's recording, guys. I've got a problem. I want to go fishing tonight. And uh, I need some live bait. I think I'm going to chase some flatheads for a change. Yeah, I'm going to. As long as the storms don't run me off the water. That's what I got here. I was actually going to do my intro and stuff down there. But there's a guy down there with a metal detector. I was going to set up my camera. My big camera. But see, I got this angle live bait cooler. It's a 30 quart. It's got a little aerator. And believe it or not, guys sun's bright but believe it or not that thing works great it, it'll keep maybe a dozen big bluegill and white suckers i don't put red horse in there they die i mean like like that uh, today i'm going to be throwing a 10 foot net it's a 10 foot phytech 5 8 pound of lead per foot but when i say 5 8 i mean 5 8 webbing and uh it really does the trick 10 foot net makes all the difference in the world instead of throwing your guts out with with a uh, you know say a four foot net you know like one you get from Walmart or one of the cheaper nets they don't sink fast enough and uh, this one's great especially in shallow water shallow water is kind of complicated to catch bait out of because your net hits the water and they hear it coming they hear it splash and they're instantly try to get away opposed to deeper water they don't hear the net come and say they're down deeper in the, in the water column the net gets them before they know it but the shallow water it's kind of a whole different beast but i'm fixing to show y'all how i catch my suckers i've been getting a lot of questions how i catch them or where i catch them I'm not going to tell you the exact spot where i catch them but i'll be able to show you guys maybe if you've got creeks and stuff like i do how you can catch them so let's go down there and see if we can't catch some bait i'm gonna go flathead fishing tonight and i'm gonna i'm gonna try to make a video out of this so let's see what we can get okay let's get after it i just heard something anyways let's get after it again i've got snail shells in my sandals and they hurt a lot this stuff got all slimy it rained last night look at this stuff boy you bust your butt down here i come around on the shallow side well it's not shallow side there's flat rock here but on this side there's a deeper hole in there <coughs> and that's where i throw my net at where are we going to start at there's a deep hole out here and there's Hopefully should be some quill back, but my goodness, I've got to get these freaking things out of my sandals. What in the world is that noise? Y'all hear that? Wow, that was loud. There's a guy up there metal detecting. 10 foot Phytech Super Spreader. It's an SS1000 model and I love this thing. Sometimes I get it to open, sometimes I don't. It's a great big net and I ain't got the best shoulder in the world. It's been worn out over the years. Curl all my coils up clockwise. Curl them all up clockwise. Now grab it right here above the, right here on your horn. Curl it down one time, curl it down again, and what I do, everybody has their own technique. There's probably going to be some wind noise, guys. I'm sorry. Everybody's got their own technique. I pull up what I call six throws, and, and I loop them right here, loop them right here by my thumb. I've got three, four, five six they got my six throws and i reach down and grab about half this net maybe a little more like that i try to keep more weight on the back side 
because that'll hold and let your front side spool out and hopefully get you a pancake. Let's see if we can figure out where these fish are. Let's try right out in here first. <coughs> Excuse me. Hoping to get quill backs out of here. I think the white suckers I'm looking for are on up in the shallower on the rocky stuff. We'll look for them in a minute. There's red horse in here and I don't want any red horse. If I catch any of them, I'm turning them loose. Oh goodness. Can't walk, I'm getting old. Okay. Wind's in my face. Let's see if we can do this. Hopefully we get something. Nothing on that throw, guys. We'll find them. I want quill backs is what I'm after. I'm hoping I can find some. Once again, guys, that's a 10-foot SS-1000 net. There's something in there. What do we get? Oh, we got some white suckers. Heck yeah. There's white suckers in there. That's good. Because that's what I'm after. I want white suckers and quill backs. The red horse is going back. The reason I want the white suckers is they stay alive longer. What is it? Nope, that's all white suckers. Shoot, yeah. That makes me happy. Let's get some water. Go up here and get some clean water. Them white suckers are very, very hardy, guys. Super hardy. And yes, you guys hear me talk about, you guys hear me talk about fresh bait but our tournament Saturday and I froze it yesterday and that's not going to affect it at all. I'm not much on frozen bait. Frozen bait's not my thing. The three white suckers shoot you, I'll take them. It'll be perfect flathead bait. It's one thing, you don't curl your net up right when you bring it in, you get this mess. And I tend to do it all the time. <coughs> Guys, best thing I can tell you about learning to throw a cast net, this is a big net. You know, you've got guys out there like Chris Satters and Hagen Grubbs, which is a buddy of mine. Hagen's a great guy. He has a great video out about how to do the triple load method with a 10 foot net. I can't figure it out. But you got Chris out there, I mean, there's, I'm trying to think of who else has put good cast net videos out. Lord, I don't know, but you get on YouTube and there's plenty of great cast net videos. Basically, I've taken and thrown this thing so many times and screwed it up that I've watched, and I've watched so many videos, I've just kind of come up with my own method. And it works for me, you know, it works for me. You guys got to figure out what fits you best, but I wouldn't advise starting out with a 10 foot net. I'll probably get hung up on some rocks here to be honest with you. But don't, don't be surprised. What's in there? Little small mouth, we can't keep him. I wouldn't keep him anyways. Bass is not my favorite bait. I'm going to go up here and throw in this deep hole. I started out shallow and hopefully they'll move up here into deeper stuff. Let's see what's out here. I ain't getting out of there. He can sit there for a second. Try to cool my net up right. There's something in there. Got them that time, boys and girls. I think that's Quillies. No, it's a big red horse. 
I get gizzard shad out of here too, believe it or not. Let's go see what we got. I'm not keeping any red horse. I'll save them for a later date. Oh, two big red horse suckers. One there and one there. I don't need to get the bucket for them. So, we'll go ahead and dump them out. Just simply grab the horn, which is the top part of your net. That's a good red horse, too. And there's a little pumpkin seed in there. That's why I like that 5 8 net. That bait comes out of it pretty good. See that? A little bluegill popped right up. Come here, buddy. Calm down. Here now. I know. You're upset. I don't blame you guys. Give me just a second. That is a red horse sucker. Horse and moss. That is a red horse sucker. Makes excellent cut bait. You've heard kayak catfish talk about red horse. They're good bait. I don't like skipjack, so... Let's turn this guy loose. Calm down, Junior. Well, Turbo's trying to get after it. You're free to go, buddy. There he goes. And chances are, I will probably catch him at a later date when I need bait, but he'll be in there for me to catch. All right. Do this again. Pull up six throws. I ain't got my big camera set up. I know you're seeing it with the GoPro. It'll be all right. Do the best I can. There's people down here and I didn't set up the big camera. Just for one, I didn't want people seeing what I got in my truck. Or, See the camera setting up there. I was going to leave my camera set up there on the hill recording, but I don't want somebody to walk up and snatch it. Okay. Try this again. Believe it or not, 10 footer is harder to throw when you're in the water. Uh oh, did we get some quillies? I think we did. We got one and a big red horse. That's okay. We're getting somewhere. I like quill backs. But a lot of people ask how and where I catch my bait. Small creeks, small rivers. You can also catch red horse in the spring. That's what I'm after, guys. Little back carp. Let's get this red horse back. Come here, buddy. Get all dirty. Is that not a fine piece of bait right there? Shoot you, flathead candy. A lot of people's asked where and how I catch my bait. This is it. This is how I do it. I get out there and grind. I stay after it. <laughs> you can also catch them in the spring when they're running below small creeks or below small dams and small smaller creeks and rivers. You can get them out of bigger rivers too, but it's harder. Um, you just got to be safe because in the spring when they're running, you know, the water's higher. You know what I'm saying? Just be careful. It's not worth getting hurt over. If I can get a dozen pieces of bait, I'll be happy. And I get out to the lake, I might try to get me some gizzard shad. But I haven't been to the lake in about, oh, I want to say a month. Been busy with ADAM fishing some tournaments. I fished one with another good buddy on Mike. Moss all over my net. Look at that. Goodness gracious. You got to get her up above that water she drags. That guy coming through here earlier might have spooked him up some. Something in there. I felt something. I don't want a red horse. Well, 
a gizzard shed. We'll probably, well, a gizzard shed probably die anyways, and I got plenty of them. I'll probably just let him go. They're up shallower, I think. We'll have to go burn. They're up real shallow. I don't like throwing up there's a bunch of rocks. Big old red horse sucker. That's a big one. Look the size of that gizzard shed. I'm keeping him. He'll die. He won't stay alive in that little aerator of mine, so I'm not concerned about it. We'll cut him up for cut bait. Carry yourself. Somebody's up there weed eating. It never fails when I want a video. There's either people in the water or in the water or or weed eating. Lawnmower man over is going to town. So uh bear with me. But I think I got some quill bikes. I didn't even bother turning the camera on because he just Giving her everything she's got. Giving her the Gallagher over there. I think we found them. They moved up shallow on the other side. Here him go. Get with it. Huh. Two big gizzards. I'm sorry. I'm going to have to take him. Them good ones. That's the creek chubs. Big red horse, sunfish. Come on, little buddy. I'll give it him. That's gonna happen. Oh, the weed eater. Guys, I'm sorry. Jeez. That little creek chub ain't gonna make it. If I can find him in the net. Oh no. Sorry, buddy. Maybe he'll live. Believe it or not, he swam off. No, he didn't. He's floating. We'll see. I don't know. Goofy gizzard, Chad. I get muddy as could be. Oh! Yeah, swim up the shore. About lost him. I'm gonna turn it off for a second, guys. He's getting closer. There's two nice gizzards. Here's this red horse. Might keep him, I don't know. We'll go ahead and keep him, and uh, I'm going to wad this net up, and I'm going to take this bait up and put it in the cooler. Excuse me? I'm cast netting. I'm cast netting. How you figure? I'm catching bait. Yeah, I catfish. Huh? Why does it sound worse? I catfish. I catfish. I'm catching bait. Good Lord. Come down here giving me 10 kinds of flax. I don't think that feller's quite right, to be honest with you. I'm looking over my shoulder, trust me.
he come down here giving me 10 kinds of flat guys telling me I wasn't right and oh there's a little shiner in there telling me I wasn't right and all kinds of stuff he can just stay up there on the bank and I'll stay right here until he leaves so I don't have to deal with him because he don't want to deal with me I promise you he's leaving now that was different talking quiet I was trying not to get him going because he didn't seem quite right but he come down through the woods I seen him coming on a bike cussing and hollering and he came down over the hill giving me ten kinds of flack about cast netting he come down over the hill and he's like what kind of stupid bleep 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 thing are you doing I said I'm cast netting he said that ain't even right I said, Okay, dude, <laughs> get away from me now. There he goes, riding away on his bicycle, and I'm glad he's leaving. After them three old boys got massacred in Florida, I promise you I'll watch what I'm doing. Just like that, a fella that's not quite right come out of the woods on you. You don't know what to expect these days. Probably gonna be getting up out of here in a minute. Cause what I have to protect myself is in the truck. Wouldn't mind having a good red horse though. Keep getting these golden shiners. I want them golden shiners. I'm gonna go up deep, try to grab another red horse there. That shiner get out of there. Hey, weed eater guy's back. I'm going to make another cast and we're going to get out of here. I'll do an outro to this, guys, and uh, hopefully I catch some flatheads tonight and you'll get to see that on the video after this one. I've had about enough of people today. I heard weed eater go over and people walking down. I didn't, there's usually never anybody here. Try and keep that screen wiped off, guys. Let's go down here deep to the very end. That sun's probably in y'all's face. I need to get what I got in the bucket up there in the cooler for they ain't dead. Probably it's that red horse. They struggle real easy. I don't know why. Seems to me they worse than Chad. Me. All right, guys, we're gonna call it. I'll see you at the truck. All right, guys, you seen that? It's a struggle to get baked sometimes. Let's raise that up here. It's a struggle sometimes other times you can just whack them in two or three throws i'm just off my game today i guess but i got plenty enough bait for flatty fishing tonight the white suckers are doing great i think them will be the ticket the red horse 
they're getting cut up. I'm just going to throw some massive baits. Anyways, guys, I'm going to get out of here. Like I always say, I got to go home and get some sleep. I don't always say that, but I forgot to say. I'm going to go home and get some sleep, get some rest, get the boat hooked up. And I'm going to go fishing tonight. That's another video. We needed bait today. And, like I always say, guys, if you want it, you got to go get it. Nobody's giving it to you. You got to do stuff like that. You got to get after it and make it happen. You got to go get it. Guys, I love y'all. Till the next one, be safe.